Catch Booja, 6 till 7 weekdays with KFC's Barbecue Bacon Burrito, back for a limited time. But it's really important that you sear the meat. Oh, you got it. Because if you don't sear it, it just gets gluggy and all the blood and juice and the flavour just sort of seeps out. That's right. Yeah. Well, we're on the phone here. We're going to Scotty Stevenson, who's going to have a bit of a... bit of a... What, 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 what do you call that? Like a, a, a wrap-up of the rugby league last night. Huge game. A bit of a bit Ferguson. of a chit-chat. A bit of a chit-chat. A bit of a chit-chat. A chit-chat with old uh, Scotty... Uh, I assume Scotty Stevenson. Scotty. 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 Sky Sport. I'm unable to take your call currently, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Sure. Yeah, hi, Scotty. Uh, Lee here. Lee and Jay's here on Bougie. Give us a call back, mate. I'm um, hoping the next 10 minutes we'd like to have a chat about the about the big game last night. I hope you're well. Um, give us a call on the same old number. All good. Or on the landline here in the studio. It'd be fantastic. Failing that, maybe on Jason's mobile. He can get hold of me. And likewise, we can call you back. But make it in the next 5, 10 minutes. Otherwise, yeah. we'll be off air by then. Listen, I don't have any credit at the moment, Scotty. So maybe just text me and I'll be able to text you back to say or if it's okay. Or straight to the studio line, yeah? Well, he could go straight to the studio line, uh, but if you can't get through there, definitely text me and or ring Lee Hart. Yep. Okay? Are you going to have your phone on? I will. Yeah. But it's probably best if he comes to the 0800 Haraki number. Okay. Now, the prize line. Or you could text us 3483 on the line, and if worse comes to worse, I think you've got James Johnson, our producer's number. Give him a call. Uh... I oh, know he's got no credit either, so text him as well um, when you're available. We'd really appreciate that, mate, because we'd love your thoughts on the league. Big game, big game. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Scotty. So what did you think of the game, Lee? I didn't see it. No, neither did I. <laughs> hey, but uh, apparently a great send-off for uh, old Thirsty. Oh, Thirsty. The old, the old Thirsty, the thirst master. Yeah, he certainly had a great game. A great game to the boot. Great kick. Did he? Woo! Did he want... Hey, tell you. was it his last game, though? Because everyone keeps saying it's a great way for him to sign off. But I'm not sure that it was his last game. If you could tell us that, text us 3483. Was that Jonathan Thurston's last game? Exactly. And if you've got any other insights about the game, um, it would be great to hear. Because as, as we mentioned, uh, well, if, if you've just been joining us, A, Jace didn't see it, B, I didn't see it, and C, Scotty Stephen, who did see it, hasn't rung us back. So we've got a lot of um, issues going on here. Yeah. Uh, and the phone line's ringing hot now. Uh, it's not him. I think that Scotty's just texted me now, but unfortunately I've got no credit. I Someone's ringing in here. That's, oh, so that could be Scotty uh, now. Uh, is he in Kai Koei? No. Uh, okay. He, no, he could be. Well, he, he might be doing a commentary for the Tanifa. Isn't that that, that way? You know, the Northland oh, side? Oh, yes. Yes, it could be. We'll find out. Hey, this, this is the best of Bouja. Talking of controversial, boy, oh boy, the old TTPA deal that's uh, <laughs> gone through today, Lee Hart. Certainly has. Did you, what did you say, the one? The TTPA deal. It's TP, is it? TT, it's not TTPA, is it? T- Robert P P A. Oh, the T P P A. You're thinking of the T the T T P A. That's the Trans Tasman. Um, Whatever okay. the Trans Tasman. <laughs> no, you're thinking you're thinking of you're thinking of oh, uh, C E R. Closer Economic mm. Relations. Uh, or the, relations. Or the, the P P T A. Parent union. Teacher. Oh, oh, the gee, union I, for secondary teachers. I right. went to one of those the other day. Christ, what a palaver that was. Mm, did you Jesus. get that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. The PTA was that we're talking about? But no, no. we're talking about the TTPA. No, the, the, T- P- oh, no, the TPPA. The TPTA. TPPA. And we have Robert Reed, who is from the first union. And Robert, people are passionate about this thing. And I am, I'm imagining... About which one, Jase? Well, the, the TPPA. <laughs> Yep. Um, I'm imagining, Robert, that you're pretty passionate about it as well. I'm going to chuck a name at you. Helen Clark. Helen Clark. What the hell's going on there? Well, um, Did you go there? Uh, well, as I, as I said... As I said in Q- that, Q- Q&A on scenario. Sunday, she had... I wouldn't take Helen Clark to an auction um, because... Um, I wouldn't take her anyway. She, because she said that um, uh, we would be silly not to be a part of that agreement um, and, and, and to walk away from that agreement. But that's the last thing you want is someone to say that. We should all remain sceptical whether we want it or not to mm. try and wring the last concession out. Well, we failed to do that. We didn't hardly got any concessions on dairy. Um, Helen said that she wouldn't comment on New Zealand politics and I think she should continue not to comment on New Zealand politics. And, and just with regards to Helen Clark, Lee Hart, I put a scenario with Helen Clark to you and you accepted. Yes, I did, but that was in a scenario format. Um, remind me that the, the the scenario, how did it work? I can't remember. But it was a scenario and you said, of course I would. That I'd end up making love to her? Yes. Okay. Hey!
Fuja. I tell you what, Jace, if I got time for a quick weather update, weather report. Do you um, think so? I hope we do. Yeah, well, of course. We have a quite a large El Nino weather system coming in from the left of the country as we speak. That should be here in about 45 minutes. So hopefully that doesn't affect anyone too much. Um, it's nasty, that El Nino, isn't it? It certainly, certainly can be this time of year especially. So um, just be aware of that. Be mindful. Yeah. Hey, can I also say a lot of people giving us a bit of grief about the whole Richie thing. And I just want to say, you know, that I, I feel like I sort of let people down a little bit with that, you know, Richie Beno. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, you I know see. what I mean? Leading and, them on a bit. Yeah, leading them on a bit. And so... We do have Richie. <laughs> We've made a promise. You know, we said to the people, we're going to get Richie on the show. It's the last buddy thing we ever do, mate. And finally it's happened. Finally. So, Richie, g'day. Hello. G'day. Hello. Are you there, Richie? Hello. It's not Richie. We're after Richie McCaw, not Lionel Richie. Thanks, though. God, Sorry Richie. about that. Sorry, Lionel. Booja, the best bits. Um, Lee, what's the point of boobs on bikes? I mean, I You're can asking me specifically. I'm specifically asking you what the point of it is because I can understand testicles on horses. Naturally. That, that, that makes sense to me, but boobs on bikes. Exactly. I think it's they've hijacked the testicles on horses parade from the 40s, which is very popular, and that's got religious connotations. Yeah. You can see why they did that in the first place. Yes. But boobs on bikes, for me, is just a commercialisation of that, and there's no real need for it. What, what's your view, Nikki Bizant, on um, boobs on bikes? From a female perspective. I don't really have an issue with boobs. Just, well, the, well, just the bikes. Seeing the boobs, I don't yeah. really... Well, you have an issue I with the bikes? I don't know what the point of it is either, actually. Of combining the two just because they, you know, the alliteration aspect. Well, I just don't... I don't really see the point. Mm. But I'm not mm. offended by it. No, no. You, no one, no one's making you go down Queen Street and, and watch that, Jace. Well, I just happened to be there. I mean, it, it wasn't that I... I didn't even know it was on. And then I saw it. Yeah. You know, I'm one of those guys that... When, when there's a parade, I like to be involved. And that's why, when totally. you said earlier, I, was, I wasn't chasing them. I was just... Yeah, but what... Uh, I saw you, though, just coming around at the top of the parade, just coming down the hill there, and you are in a sidecar on, on one of the motorbikes. What's that about? Well, I had to do some um, pre-records with Jimmy James, our um, producer, so I was running a bit late, so I just jumped into the sidecar yeah, and... Yeah, with they... no shirt on, no need for that. It's bloody hot today, though. As I say, summer coming up. So next thing you know, you're in the middle of the parade with your shirt off in a sidecar and you're bagging the booze and bikes. Well, I don't know that I was bagging it. I was just wondering what the point of it was. Yeah, fair enough. I've got very nice breasts. Hmm. Um, Let's get back to food, shall we? Those are coming in. Yeah. Looking fast. Oh, there you go. Thank Christ for that. Thanks, James. Hey, I've got a good food one for you. Yes. Um, for, for Nikki, you mean? Well, it's food one, really. It's a kind of a top tip. Yes. Um, if you've, you know, do you like hungy food? Yeah. I'm mean, just get a bit yeah. of culture into the show, Jace. Um, sure. You know, sure. yeah, good. And um, a lot of people don't. They, they can find it overdone, whatever. If you've got an old oven that you, you know that you don't want anymore, dig a, big, dig a big hole in your lawn. Drop the oven in it on its back, so you've got the door facing up. Upwards, yeah. Yeah, run the a, a power cable under under the grass, so you can't see it. Plug it in, and then you can, whenever you're having a hungry, you just chuck all the food in the oven. Um, the, the door is only a couple inches above, you know, below the ground. You chuck yes. dirt on top of it, and you can cook all your food in the oven any time you want, and it doesn't taste like shit when you bring it out. Thoughts on that, New Zealand? Three four eight three. Food FM. <laughs> the best of Bouja with KFC's barbecue bacon burrito. So tasty and only $3.90. It's curry night here at Hauraki and I'm damn excited because tonight's a little bit exciting. We've had a recommendation from a close friend of ours. Yeah. A great um, a, a curry place called Gandhi's Kitchen. Yeah, I've no heard less. massive things about it and that's always, you know, slightly precarious. We won't be going there, of course, because uh, we've got a radio show to do. Yep. But we're going to ring up and uh, get some takeaways um, from the menu. So if we just give them a call now. This is live. What would you like to order, uh, New Zealand? 3483, let us know. Yeah. What are you having for dinner tonight, New Zealand? Some naan breads with that, pompadoms. 
Hopefully you're having a curry like we are. Well, Gandhi's kitchen is speaking copy. Hey, copy, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, no, you go. Okay, hey, uh, Jason Lee here from Bougia on Hauraki. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you guys? Yeah, yeah, great, mate. Bloody great. Good, thanks, mate. Hey, we're just going to want to do a quick order there. We've heard great things. And, um, yes, just a, a takeaway, yeah? A takeaway, yep. Um, S- sorry, Copy, do you um, you deliver as well? Or? Yeah, we do deliver. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, um, I'll go with the butter chicken, and I'm not going to go mild. I'm going to go medium. You, you want to go. go medium with it? No, no, that's fine. Hey, uh, Goppy, do you do the yep. chicken 65? Yes, we, we do chicken 65. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Can yep. we get uh, a chicken 65 European hot, please? European hot? Yeah. And what about the um, um, the curry? Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be medium medium European hot. Okay. What do you mean? Well, well, sort of cold Indian hot, hot, hot European, you know what I mean? So medium. Okay, medium. Well, yep. no, I want it European hot. So what's that in Indian What's term? about a chicken? It's a no, mild. no, this chicken 65. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Goppy? It, it's a mild then. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, yeah, all right. Okay, and we, we want the beef. Vin- do you do a crab, a crab vindaloo? Yeah, yeah, we, we, that's 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 a, one of the famous one we we do crab vindaloo. How about a crab address? Yeah, you can you can Is get there a such crab a thing? address as well. Yeah, yeah, nope. you can do that. New Zealand, we're yeah. just going to finish this. Sorry, Goppy. Um, we'll just finish this off because I don't know that this is making captivating radio. Booja, the best bits on Radio Hauraki. So in summary, yeah, no, it's a garlic naan, a plain naan. Yeah. And that, that thing you suggested, the crab vindaloo, definitely. Crab vindaloo, yep. And and obviously the butter chicken and the... And the you got the... the chicken 65. Chicken 65, 65. Yeah. But is, are we, is two naans enough, though? I think it will be. We've got you the really, rice as well, so... Oh, OK. So one one rice is definitely enough. Well, okay. Oh, sorry, Gobby, is one rice enough for the, all, all of that, or will we need to order extra... Um, or, I, did, I can give you an extra rice. Or does rice come with, actually, each order? No, he's going to throw an extra rice in. Oh, he's going to throw one in. OK. You're going to throw one in. OK, thank you. Fantastic. So if we could just deliver that to Haraka Studios in Auckland City there, Cook Street, it'd be fantastic. And, Sorry, uh, what? what where, where, where's the delivery? Um, Haraka Studios here at Cook Street. Sorry, mate, this is uh, Petoni Wellington, Gandhi's Kitchen. Wellington? Oh, yeah, this is Wellington. Oh, you're ordering from Auckland. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay do, you, do you have a branch up in Auckland? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, sorry, you guys, I thought you guys are here in Wellington. James, was there an 04 before that number, or what was the story? Surely you should have noticed so, that. Uh, sorry, God, okay, thanks for wasting our time. Thanks, mate. Jesus Christ. Why doesn't he have a branch up? Well, uh, you know, you can't call yourself nationwide if you're not nationwide. Did they call themselves nationwide? Well, well they did too. They Look did. at that, it is nationwide. What a waste of bloody time that is. Hey, it's not just our time, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not concerned about my time because I'm getting paid for this. Yeah. You know what really gets on my goat? I'm going I think I do actually. It's the listeners' time that yeah. we've wasted. Yeah, I totally you're not getting an argument from me, Lee Hart. It's <sighs> bloody annoying. Well let's not waste any more of their time and let's go to a song or something for Christ's sake. This is the best of Booja on Radio Hauraki. But I tell you what, I'm gonna take you back, Jace, to last week. Yes, man. <laughs> What a week. What a week for winners. Booja, well, it's not really our dog. Hopefully, we're going to try and get a share in Booja the Greyhound. He ran a race. Let's remind people just how that went. And racing. Nicely up. Booja. Booja to the lead. Now, I Adams missed it, and Booja's kicked away by a couple of lengths over Hyper Paradise, getting around Peyton Sawyer. They're followed by big time tip. Little gap by Adam around the corner. Booja going strong. It's out by two lengths. They're not going to catch it. Booja home. Booja beat Hyper Paradise. Peyton Sawyer. Then we go back. Big time tip. Then we've got I Adam out by the blazing hot Saka Jewea and the Beta. There you go. <laughs> Thank you there. The Just a quick count. Uh, Boozier. The canine world there, Boozier, of course. And fittingly on the line, we have Boozier's owner, Mark Keane. Mark, we need to talk business. How much do you want from him? How much you got? 10K. 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 <laughs> hey, we've been in touch with the uh, Greyhound Association, and they said to us that you could get a pretty good Greyhound, Mark, for around 3K. Well, yeah. yeah you know, not, but, not called uh, Boozier, though, unfortunately. Yeah, that, no. No, that's a fair point. Pay extra for the name. Hey, and Mark, and uh, what sort of dog is he? Tell us more about Bouja. What sort of, what's the personality like? Um, is he a humper? Uh, not sure about the humping, although, to be fair, he's a good kennel dog. But get him to the track, he gets pretty bad up. Yep. So, okay. Uh, well, that's a good thing, though, surely. 
Yes, no, it is. It's uh, you know, I think for the uh, for the listeners out there, a good tip is if he's jumping pre-start, you, he's in for a shot. You should have seen Jace when he went to the Olympics last year. We took him to the track. He got pretty barred up as well. <laughs> I know you're coming from. Hey, uh, Mark, can I ask you, because we're still learning about Boozer a little bit, what's his sort of record, mate? What's his history? How's he doing? Good question. Well, Thanks, he, mate. One, one first up, first, first start he won. Then it took 12 more to do anything. Uh, but since then, he's turned around. He's come all right. So he's won two more since then, so three in total and a couple of placings. So he's sort of lost 12 and been placed three times and won once. Yeah, uh, won three times. So. One, okay, 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 interesting. Yeah. And do they have sort of divisions, Mark, in, in the Greyhounds? Do they uh, is he is he top tier? Is he far lap kind of division, or is he question. something else? No, no. To be fair, he's probably more of an NPC type player uh, okay. down, down the grades. Dirt tracker. Uh, yeah, to be fair, uh, he's second from oh third from bottom. He's just gone up. So okay. Uh, yeah. So it looks like. Um, well, what are you thinking? Are you willing to sell a share in, in Booja? Yeah, I think so. I think it'd be good good banter. So yeah, I'd be keen to do that. What what kind of um, how much would you let go? Well, it's going to be tempted for twenty percent. Yeah, twenty percent you know. of Bouja. Okay, and, and yeah. how much would you be asking for that, Mark? Oh, I don't know. A couple of boxes of Waka Changi would probably do me. Do yeah, me yeah right. it's a deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Done deal. Okay. Hey, uh, Mark. Incidentally, when's Bouja's next race? Do you know? Yes, tomorrow. Uh, race in Eddington. So what time's that? Six. What's that? What time's that? Uh, five past three. Five past, five three. past three. All right, we're going to definitely. And was that at Eddington? Did you say? Yeah, down in Christchurch. Just a little tip for the for the listeners. Uh, he's a, he's the kind of dog that likes the rail. He's he's the bastard that'll take half the field out if he's drawn out wide. And tomorrow he's in six. So we're waiting. Brilliant. For okay, there yeah. you go. Fantastic. Hey, Mark King. like the rail at some point. Owner of Bouja. Thanks for that, mate. We'll be in touch uh, throughout the year, probably, uh, now that we're 20% stakeholders. That's right. Looking nice, mate. Nice. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Take care. This is the best of Bouja on Radio Hauraki. Hey, a lot of texts coming in. Um, most of them seem to be abusing us about wasting their time in the first few links. Yeah, yeah. Ordering food and batoni. But um, some of the other texts are a little bit more positive. Here, this one comes from Liz. Hi, I have been with a new guy for four weeks now, and he still hasn't tried to kiss me properly. Should I be worried? Liz. Um, interesting, Liz. Ooh, okay. Four weeks, was it? Or did you four, four weeks. weeks? Okay. Now, yep. Liz, I don't think the time really comes into it. A man or a male, he will pass you when he's ready to pass you. Um, and when you're ready to be passed, of course. You've got to remember, if you're going to... Waiting for that pass can be just as exciting, can't it, Jace? is actually experiencing that pash. Yeah, certainly the anticipation of the pash is... Almost, it's sometimes it's even better than the pash itself, Lee Hart. Yes. But it is slightly concerning that it's taken a month. Um, you know? Uh, that is a bit concerning, but I'm wondering here from Liz, is she worried that she hasn't had a pash from this particular guy or that she hasn't had a pash per se for quite a while? Because if that's the case, there's things she, she can do. She can go to a... Um, a pash party. Where oh, yes, I've whole... heard about those. Can you have you got a bit of info on pash well, parties? I don't have any specific info, but basically you go along there yep. with other people and you pash them in, in a controlled environment that's yes. safe okay. for all the people that are pashing. And for me, um, someone in Liz's position, I think that's probably the safest way. And she can perhaps tell her partner, don't rush, I've been at a pash party. You can pash me when you're ready. Okay. Well, I hope that helps, Liz. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Well, there's this, this, it's quite extreme to go from no pashing to, to, to a pash party, though, wouldn't you have thought? You know, to, to go from no pashing to pashing, like, heaps of people. No, you don't have to pash heaps of people. But this is a place where you can go. You go in, I think you write your name down, you say you Leave want to pash. in the bowl, yes. You want to pash someone, they'll match you up with, some, with someone. Oh, okay, so it's someone specific, not just a yes. whole group of and people that, then pashing. You, you'll pash them, and you might say, I want to pash someone again. And you, you move around that way. It's not. It's not. It's, there's nothing sinister about this. I think it's run by Christians. It's quite a above board concept, I think. But failing that, I think you can just wait. And you, and your partner, you don't leave his name. He'll pass you when when he's ready. When he's good and ready. Yeah. And great advice, mate. And, and and it's interesting that it's actually been brought up the whole passion thing because, of course, with the advent of Tinder and Grinder and all yes. those sort of social med things uh, going on, um, passion's gone out of fashion a little it's, bit. It hasn't certainly it? has. Passion is down forty five percent. They reckon. Yeah, forty five percent. Yes, from 
from other from other activities. Well, we hope that that's helped you, Liz, and uh, all the best, and just be patient. Down 25 cents since 1997. Apparently, if I just want to chuck a stat there at you, but yeah, Liz, um, pashing's not everything, and um, happy pashing out there. Catch you later. Booja, 6 till 7 weekdays with KFC's Barbecue Bacon Burrito. Back for a limited time.